live at 6. Back to you, Lauren. All right. Thank you very much, Emily, for that live report. Fun times. Now, in the early games today, Fargo Shanley knocked off Century. They'll play in their fourth straight title game tomorrow night. Also, the boys take on the floor, uh, take the floor tonight in their semifinal games. Fargo Davies will play Minot High, followed by Bismarck Century versus Dickinson. The championship games for both boys and girls Class A basketball teams will be tomorrow night. And we're going to have another live report from all the fun tonight at 6. Meanwhile, the KX Sports Show opened just a few hours ago, and already it is busy with guests. We have Alexis Arthur live at the sports show to tell us more about it. It's only day one of the show, and the community has gotten it off to a great start. I talked to one of the, one of the vendors, Val Lee Sport and Marine, and he's been here every year of the show. So far, he's enjoyed talking to all the people and seeing all of the traffic that there's been here on the first day. Along with that, he's noticed a lot of people are getting spring fever when they see all the boats and power sports. What's nice about this show is the diversity. There's a great selection of boats, campers, uh, power equipment. There's lots of uh, different things for, for everybody to look at and enjoy. He said it all. There really is a lot to see. And if you didn't make it today, we will be here tomorrow. The show opens at 10, and then on Sunday as well, it'll open right, at 11. Thank you very much, Alexis, for that live report. Switching gears now, 10 minutes.